The winter road system is under threat in much of the region as warm winter weather means thinner ice and slower progress on building the critical road infrastructure. Fly-in First Nations throughout the north depend on the winter roads for delivery of building materials and other heavy supplies. Muskrat Dam's Roy Fiddler says most communities are still waiting for their ice roads to open. The sun is shining, the birds are singing and it's like minus 12. Um, and usually we should be uh, at minus 25, minus 20. Uh, usually work, works well for us, but it's been unusually warm, uh, raining at times, freezing rain. That's put everything like two, two or three weeks behind of where we should be. Fiddler is in charge of building and maintaining about 80 kilometers of winter road, crossing land, Muskeg and the Severn River to connect Musk, Muskrat Dam to other winter roads to the north and south. The whole network is critical for moving construction materials, heavy equipment and essential supplies like fuel, which is very expensive to move by air. Fiddler says despite the dangers created by the warmer weather, he and his team are doing everything they can to make the roads passable by heavy vehicles before they run out of time. We've noticed over the years of doing this, like uh, uh, <clears throat> by February, uh, the ground and water temperatures change to start thawing. So we only have like two, three weeks to, you know, where we can build ice. Muskrat Dam First Nation is in better shape than most flying communities. The road there is now open to light traffic. 23 of the 27 communities on the Winter Road Networks still have no traffic at all. Fiddler says his stretch of road still needs another 12 to 15 inches of ice before heavy trucks will be able to use it. And when that will happen depends on Mother Nature.